In the beginning, Arun father and Shara mother fled the strife of their home world. Escaping their reality, they fell into a void. The two lovers were met with a deep slumber and dreamt of a world. The world of Arborea. Their bodies became the continents. Time passed. Deserts, mountains, rivers, and forests grew upon the two sleeping giants. Yet, they slumbered. From their dreams, the first living beings came to call Terra home. Twelve in all. Arun, the father, gave birth to Karis, patron of the elves. Zoras, first of the Deva. Gid, creator of the human. Amarun, father to Amani. Tivis, father of giants. Elenu, mother of the elves. Mother Shara gave life to Sikander, the phoenix and first of the Sekandari. Gluda, father to the vampire and master of the Gula. Ur, god to Wendigos. Isrin, queen of the Fae. Celeron, lord of Prions. And Dagon, father of snakes. But not all was left in peace. The first beings plotted and schemed. Rivalries emerged and the gods were at each other's throats. The twelve had children and jealousy turned its ugly head. As the gods waged war, inferior creatures appeared in the world known as mortal. Father Arun dreamed of ambitious elves, clever humans, honor-bound Amani, powerful giants, Deva, and mischievous Papori. Mother Shara dreamed of sly Sekandari, dark gulas, and vampires. Wendigos, Fae, and Naga. In time, the twelve and their offspring began a massive war. First among themselves, and then unto the mortal races. The divine wars left most of the original gods either dead, imprisoned, or otherwise diminished. The mortal races did not escape unscathed. Some were wiped out, others had to fight for freedom, and some secluded themselves from all. Not until the metallic race from an unknown realm began to appear, did the mortals begin to work together. Against a greater threat, known as the Argons and their mysterious leader, Chandra Manaya. These mortals have called forth all to help fight back this looming threat. This story has just begun.